welcome to Watch It Paint It. Today I'm painting another model from Champions of Hara. This is the last model I've got. I was only able to get two prototypes from them, so hopefully they'll send me the game and I'll be able to paint some more. I just wanted to paint this because I thought it was another awesome model. So it's another two-in-one model. It's two little models on one base, and this is Persephone from the game, and uh, behind her is her sort of her shadow, the darkness she controls, and the sort of fear she builds. So I'm starting by priming this with Vallejo's Charred Brown. It's a game colour one, so it can be used as a primer. And I just happen to have a load on my palette at the time, mainly because I've been painting a lot of tree monsters recently. So this isn't the base colour I will be using. I'm just showing how I'm priming it straight with a paint by Vallejo. And I'm really enjoying this paint, using it straight as a primer, especially when it is than the base colour of this one. In this instance, I'm just avoiding going outside because it's the middle of the night. I will then, after this has dried, use the colour I want it to be, which is black. So I'm using Army Painter's Dead Black. The reason I didn't use um, Vallejo's Game Colour Black is I just don't have it. So I, I had to prime it with something that could be used as a primer and then paint it black on top. So I'm just repeating the process before, using my regiment brush and just covering all the brown in black. And after that, so I, I spent a lot of time trying to work out how best to try and get that glow effect on the on this uh, on the darkness that's behind Persephone. And I've the, the the best I could come up with is mixing Vallejo's gloss uh, varnish with uh, electric blue. So I've got about ten percent electric blue, ninety percent of the va uh, the varnish, and mix that together. And then I coat the whole model with the regiment brush as you saw and then I've, I'm taking one of these large flat brushes I've got and I'm sort of just uh, coating it again just trying to get rid of the brush strokes that it produced and try and get sort of a flat coating of it uh, after that I'm going to take electric blue neat by Vallejo and just apply that to his eyes so filling the eye sockets and just rubbing off any that I'm getting on on his face and it's very very easy to rub off now because of that varnish that's on it so it's coming straight off it's no problem I'm also going to paint all the tips of his fingers his ears and his elbows and I'm just coloring in his pecs there doing the same on the back and then after I finish that I just thought I'd show you what this looks like so this is an effect for trying to get him get the black fear monster covered in this glue, uh, blue flame that he, he de that's depicted in the art. Uh, I wasn't happy with that so I thought I'd try something else next. So just getting out dead black and I'm just going to be painting back in a lot of this monster's the shadows black back in. Just leaving the sort of uh, blue highlights on all the areas you'd expect him to be highlighted and trying to give this sort of flame effect so just an outline is getting quite cartoony but it's it is very cartoony art so I think it fits quite well so I'm just painting in in between all of the out, outer edges of that blue just leaving it on the outside you don't have to do this if you liked how it looked before just leave it as previously done or, or you can follow along here if you like how this goes so I'm sort of dry brushing uh, I've got plenty of paint on the brush but I'm just scraping it across I'm trying to leave it feathered on, on the edges as though it's a flame uh, I'm not sure that effects coming across amazingly well so uh, but I, I carried on. I, I, you know, I've committed to this, and I'm um, giving you the benefit of watching me make the mistakes, and you choosing where you want to leave this model. Or, I mean, equally in the comments below, if you've got any better suggestions, uh, do let me know. Benson suggested at the end of it, just painting, just a painting it completely black, and just a, a, a solid blue line all the way around the outside, and his pecs, his eyes. And a little bit on his ears and fingers so that's another suggestion if you want to try that i didn't try that one this is the the final form of the creature for me and i was i was still fairly happy with it i just think it's very very difficult to get that cartoon effect at least i thought it was and there we go so that's what how i got him the black shadow with this blue flame like i think it looks very very good at a distance don't forget how close i mean look how big my hands are in this in this video my hands aren't massive by the way they're just normal um but i think you can imagine on the table at a distance like it already looks better in the background there now this model was a prototype so it didn't come assembled so now i'm gluing persephone onto the base in front in front of the 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 darkness uh, just leaving that in so she didn't just magically appear for you. I think I will make a separate video on building models and I'll use this as an example. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see how to build up a model, although Champions of Hara will come pre-assembled uh, once 
you've not got a prototype like myself. So I'm using Warlord Purple by Vallejo, and I'm just going to paint all, all of Persephone's body, her face, all of her skin, her top and her skirt, and her shoes all in pink. I'm going to use Electric Blue, and I'm going to paint on her hands, those giant monster hands in Electric Blue. I'm also going to do her hair, just because, again, I don't have a black to use as a primer. I'm going to switch to Squid Pink now. I'm going to start painting in her socks with this colour and leaving a little bit of that purple around the edges. I'm going to use it as the shading, uh, which is why I painted it that Warlord purple to begin with. I'm also going to be painting her skin in the same colour, just lightening that up. Again, leaving a teeny tiny bit of Warlord purple in, in, in the crevices as the darkest of the shader. And then obviously her face needs painting and her arms as well as in this colour. And finally, I will do her t-shirt in squid pink as well. Just bringing that all up to a lighter a lighter shade of this purpley pink. Uh, this, this is just one step in many of the, the highlights. I'm not going to use any shade on the pink. So I'm going to be building it up from that Warlord purple to a, to a skin colour. So after that, I'm just going to switch to my handle model holder. That's a link in the description below if anybody wants one of those. And then I'm getting squid pink and I've mixed in 50% pale flesh with that. And this is going to be working on her skin now. So I'm doing in her legs, her kneecaps especially, and then her face, all the raised areas. Basically all of her face in this colour. Just leaving sort of the inside of her ears, uh, under her eyes and sort of under her jawline would be this darker pink potentially. So just catching all of that using my detail brush. This model is quite small, especially once I've switched down to Persephone of herself and not the darkness behind her. That, that was all the regiment brush behind. So next up is 50% Warlord Purple and 50% Squid Pink. This is to highlight up her skirt, the, top, the tops of uh, her socks, and uh, that's about it, actually. So with a skirt, I'm just highlighting all the bits where the lights would be, be catching. So that's the edge of her skirt and down the her thigh and the tops the tops of the tops of those socks as well so just making sure I get both of those knees and just doing a second coat here along the bottom to make that pop a little bit better all the raised parts of the riffles in the skirt there uh, same down that leg on that side as well and just a second coat around the tops of those socks using the detail brush there it's quite fiddly work squid pink with 50% white primer in there. That's just to add the final highlights to her top, just those riffles, those uh, folds in a t-shirt there. Uh, I'm going to use white primer just by itself to paint in her eyes. She's got a sort of possessed eye look, so no pupils or irises to do there. Very, very easy, that bit. And I'm just going to use a little tiny, tiny bit of white just to make all of those pinks pop on the very edge. Blue tones out now. This is the blue shader by the Army Painter, and that's to paint in her, uh, her giant hands to get the dark blue effects in, in the recesses there. A bit of dead black. I noticed her shoes were black and not pink, luckily before I spent ages highlighting those shoes. So I'm just painting those shoes in dead black as well, and I'm going to do her hair in the same way. Uh, now, to get because it wasn't blue, but I used the blue as the primer because that's Vallejo's Dead Black's Army Painters, and I'm not sure you can use Dead Black by the Army Painter as a primer as well as the base color. So I'm just painting in her hair very carefully because I've finished her skin. So detail brush, super duper carefully around her her face there, be a bit quicker along the back. After the blue tones dry, I've just got the electric blue back out, and I'm just going to paint those fingertips all the raised parts of the hand, but actually most of the hand because the light's catching it. And this won't be the final highlight. So just leaving the, the blue tone in the recesses along the sort of between her fingers. And she's got a bunch of folds where her arms join her hands. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. It's quite flat, her hands, so that's kind of easy to paint. Uh, just highlighting again those folds in that that are on the backs of her arms it's quite easy they're quite raised so it's very simple to paint a little bit of electric blue in there i think these hands are actually my favorite part of the model i think they stand out really well they pop exceedingly well on the table they look quite cool quite different as well i've not seen a model like this before in fact the whole model looks really ace on the table two models in one's always good value right electric blue 50 percent and white primer 50 percent, and that's to highlight the 
all the, the very edge parts of these hands. So that's like the knuckle joints, uh, fingertips along the, the top of the thumb where the light would be catching the tiny bit of palm that you might see. And then same on the other hand, it's a lot flatter on the other hand. So it's at the palm and along the, the fingers and the very fingertips there, you can see them stand out quite well. Same on the back of the hand, just along the blade of the, of the hand, leaving, leaving a, a thin line along the neat electric blue you did just to add and sort of blend it in and make it look as realistic as I can. And that's going to be the end of painting the hands. So they're all done. And bright gold next, Army Painters 1. And this is to paint in all the gold of the model. So she's got a couple of earrings. They're very, very small. Be extra careful getting that because you've already painted the skin. And then she's got a hairband and the, I did the the edge, the, uh, the neck of the top in gold as well. I'm just using a little bit of pink there to highlight those black shoes just to give a bit of a light of lighting effect and just make it look a little bit more interesting and I'm going to use electric blue to dry brush onto her hair and give that a sort of bluey black look sort of like as though the the flames or the glow from the darkness behind us is lighting up her hair a little bit that's the model completely finished I hope you like it I like it um I could spend forever tweaking the the darkness I, I think there's a lot of different ways of achieving that effect so if you've got a, a good idea leave that in the comments below and let me know and i'll uh, certainly think about applying it and maybe making a later video thank you very much for watching